guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. In the last episode, Abby told Kyle that she just wanted to be friends with him. And although Kyle was upset when she gave him the news, they are still good friends. And Abby's glad for that because she does like Kyle as a person and does still want to be friends with him. And right now, she is at the La Casita Loca Beach Hangout with Brandon. And Brandon, the last time I saw him, was skinny dipping in the hot tub. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, this sounds like Abby broke the toilet. Um, <laughs> let's see if she was, at least she was able to use it before she broke it. So that's fine. Um, we're going to let her wash her hands, and then she's going to go ahead and come down and get in the hot tub with Brandon. She's not going to skinny dip, though, because she's a little bit too modest for that right now. She's not really quite ready uh, for Brandon to see her um, in her birthday suit. Not until after they woohoo. Then she won't be so modest, I'm sure. But she's going to go ahead um, and change into her bathing suit and get into the hot tub with Brandon. Um... And I love the view from here. Oops. <laughs> Not that view. <laughs> but I love love the view of this waterfall and everything in this little beach area. It's so pretty. And they can actually swim in this water, which is really nice. And they can fish, of course. Um, anyway, back to the story. Abby is really, really, really falling for Brandon, head over heels. Um, and he seems like he is also falling for her. She, she might even come over here and see if she can snuggle with him. Let's just see if she can. Yeah, she can cuddle with him. So she's just going to come over here and cuddle a little bit. Now, um, when they woohoo, she wants her first time to be in a real bed, not a hot tub. So she's just going to come over here and cuddle with him just a little bit. And she's going to <laughs> try to forget the fact that he is naked. Um, and he does want to cuddle with her, which is cute. And they make such a good couple. And she might even want to give him a little kiss while she's in here. And I guess she cannot. <laughs> Let's see what she can do. She can kiss. They're going to make out a little bit here in the hot tub. And they are so cute together. They really are. And I really don't understand why you have this um, sensor blur in the hot tub. Because I don't really think you can see anything. Because of all the bubbles. I could be wrong. You might be able to see. But it's actually, there's nothing there to see. <laughs> nothing different from looking at a Barbie doll. But that's neither here nor there. But they look so cute together. Here in the hot tub. And I wish he had his bathing suit on. So I could take a good picture of them. But I don't really want to take a picture with the sensor blur there. Okay. So they are having a good time. Um. And actually, let's just see. Um, let's see if they can possibly um, maybe boat here together. Boat here with date. Okay. Um, they're going to boat a little bit and take, you know, a little romantic. Um, a little romantic boat ride together really quick let's just see of course it'll probably be a speedboat and I was kind of wanting it to be a rowboat yeah it looks like it's probably going to be a speedboat so I guess I didn't think this out too clearly but that's okay neither of them have a rowboat um, in their inventory and I know Abby does not have the money for a rowboat But she can go ahead and we'll just say, yeah, they're going to do the speedboat. And where's Brandon? Is he coming with her? Brandon, where are you? There he is. And actually, um, 
Maybe they'll just, instead of boating, maybe they'll just swim here together or not. Yeah, they're just going to go swimming a little bit, maybe. And Brandon looks so... Uh, Abby, you go swim in your clothes, dear? <laughs> so there she goes out playing in the water. And I don't know what's up with them changing clothes and changing clothes. But Brandon looks quite cute in his little swimwear, his swim outfit. He's going to be a hottie when he grows up, too. Oops. She's going to splash him a little bit and just play around with him a little bit. And have a really good time together with him. And Abby has improved her athletic skill to level 3. So that's good. Um, you going to splash him? Here she goes. She's going to splash. <laughs> and they're just going to play a little bit. And have a good time together in the water. And the more time they spend together... Um, the more she knows that she wants a real future with Brandon. And they're just going to swim a little bit. Swim around and play follow the leader and things like that. Is there a dumpster here that... Well, she doesn't want Brandon to see her dumpster diving, so... Um, she's going to go ahead and get out. Let's see what Brandon's doing. Raina's just going to play in the water a little bit, I guess. Abby's going to go ahead and get out. Um, and she's going to give Brandon a kiss if she can. I don't know if she can right now or not. Um, she can call him over. She's going to call him over. And I wonder if there are any seashells here. I don't see any. Um... But, of course, Abby, as she... always, she needs some money. <laughs> so, we're going to have to try, try to find a way to get some money. And she's going to go ahead and be romantic with Brandon and kiss him. Um, and just tell him how wonderful that she thinks he looks. And she's going to tell him that she's really feeling close with him. And that she really cares about him. And she's going to go ahead uh, and give him a heat of the moment kiss. Just for fun. And possibly even make out with him a little bit. And they are all about each other. Let's see if she can make out. They're going to go ahead and make out together. <laughs> and they're really getting along really good. And Abby is starting to get to the point where she might feel comfortable enough to tell Brandon that she's a runaway. And with them standing, the way they're standing on the sand, and with her standing taller than him, <laughs> their lips are not matching up at all. But that's okay. That's all right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see. He's going to dip kiss Abby. Isn't that sweet? We got to get a shot of this. Got to get a picture of this dip kiss. That is so cute. And he is thinking about her. And how much he cares about her. Um, he's really falling madly in love with this girl, too. Just like she is falling madly in love with him. And they are really cute together. Um, and they're wanting to woohoo. And Abby is wanting to woohoo with Brandon. So, I guess Abby is ready to go ahead and have her very first woohoo. And let's see where they're going to go. If they don't go to a bed, then I'm going to redirect them to a bed. Because I know that Abby wants her first time to be in a real bed, not a hot tub. So we're going to go ahead and let them have their very first woohoo. This is Abby's very first time. Um, and she wants it to be really special. So she's going to go ahead and come up here to the room, to this room, and... Have a woohoo with Brandon. 
Is she going to do a regular woohoo or a risky woohoo? Well, for right now, let's just do a regular woohoo with Brandon Hartford <laughs> and see how it goes. <laughs> and she's really wanting to. She, she's ready. She loves this man. Well, this guy. She loves this teenager. And this teenager loves her. He has told her. Um, and somebody's Ooh. favorite color is black, and that's nice to know, I guess. But, um, you know, Brandon told Abby that he's in love with her. And, you know, that he's never felt this way about any girl before in his life. And, of course, Abby has never had a serious relationship with a boy in her life either. He is her <laughs> very first serious relationship. Um, and, you know... She he owns her heart now. When when Abby falls, she falls hard, and she has fallen very hard. And I don't know. There they go. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought they were gonna get stuck on the stairs, but luckily everything went okay with that. Um, so Abby's gonna go ahead and get in her pajamas. We'll we'll get to see what Brandon's pajamas look like. Tana. Yeah, come around to the other side. And she is really nervous. Abby is very nervous. Um, you know, she really cares about this guy. But at the uh -huh. same time, she's very inexperienced. And she knows she's very inexperienced. And she has no idea whether or not um, this is Brandon's first woohoo. You know, he may have woohooed before. She does not know. But this is her very first time. And she is so in love. And she is nervous. And there they go. Abby's very first woohoo with Brandon. And she does love him very much. And his pajamas need, leave a little bit to be desired, but that's okay. And Abby's going to talk to him a little Ooh. bit. Um, and Abby has decided yeah. now that Aren't since they have woohooed, and she it. is feeling so close to Brandon, she's going to go ahead and tell him about her situation. She's going to go ahead and tell him that she is a runaway um, and that she can never go back home because if she does, if her stepfather ever finds her, you know, he's going to do one or two things, one of two things. Her stepfather is either going to um, blame her and frame her for killing her own mother or he's going to kill her one of the two because Abby is the only one who knows um, that her stepfather killed her mother and she's going to go ahead and tell Brandon all oh, that oh, dare not. and she's going Baby. to ask Brandon if possibly he can help her and try to protect her from her stepfather and we'll just see what Brandon says when she gives him the news and asks him this question. If he will protect her. And he's saying, yes, Abby. He's saying, I love you so much, Abby. I will do anything it takes to protect you and make sure you're safe. And Abby is just so relieved. Um, she's going to go ahead um, and give him a hug and thank him and tell him how much she cares about him. And now that they um, have done their woohoo, Abby thinks that it's time that they head out somewhere else. She's thinking maybe they should go over to the arcade um, and maybe do a little bit of bowling because she does want to increase her jock influence a little bit. Um, so that's what they're going to do. She's going to ask Brandon if he wants to go here to the bowling alley for a little while. And hopefully he will say yes. And Brandon is probably even going to pay for a taxi for them to go to the bowling arcade. Um, and she also wants to work out, so we're, we'll work on that later. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and let them go to the bowling arcade. Also, there's one of those claw machines at the bowling arcade where she can try to win a prize and sometimes those prizes 
that you win um, can be worth quite a bit of money. So we'll just see. Um, first of all, we'll let them go ahead and bowl together. She's going to bowl with Brandon. And see about getting her jock influence up a little. And there's a dog. I wonder if he's a homeless. No, he has a, a last name. His name is Max Newton. So that must mean that he belongs to someone. So we'll go ahead. Um, oh, have you heard that Allegra or Will is secretly a party animal? No, I have not heard that. But it's nice to know, I guess. And Abby is increasing her jock influence. And that dog came in the bowling alley, inside the bowling alley. And I don't know why the camera does that in this particular venue, but it does. And I'm just speeding through a little bit. And there she is. She did increase her jock influence and get her points. And now, of course, she wants to throw a bonfire party. And you know what? We might actually let her do that. Oh, she wants to kiss Brandon. Um, we'll go ahead and put kiss Brandon on there. You know, we might let her throw a bonfire party not at home. She could do it at the beach. Um, you know, that's really not a bad idea. We might do that. And, and she can invite everyone that she has met except for... Guess who? Pam Carnegie. <laughs> she will not be inviting Pam Carnegie. We're going to go ahead um, and let her gr try grabbing a prize while she's here at the bowling arcade. Let's see how that goes. Maybe she can get something. Because we really need money. Um, you know, she's doing okay. She's got 6,000 simoleons. But, you know, that's not quite enough to build a shelter yet, I don't think. And I don't think you're allowed to build anything until you can... I'll have to check the rules. I'm not sure exactly how, how much money you have to have to actually build. And she got something. <laughs> what is that? That looks like a ghost. That's a ghosty. Yes. So yes. we'll just see. I can't believe it. Derek Rockford is having a party tonight. Really? Uh, I think Derek Rockford is a... Oh, she received a Gnome of the Damned from the Claw Machine. Let's hope it's worth some money. Gnomes are typically worth... Yes! It is worth 1,000 simoleons. Yay! We will sell that baby right now. <laughs> okay. And Abby Sherwood bowled a 16. Well, in real life, that's terrible. I don't know what it is in The Sims. But she is now a wannabe within the jocks social group so that's good um let's go ahead and try one more time for one more prize she won't get anything this time i'm sure because i've never had any of my sims get anything twice in a row but we're gonna try it just for fun and just see what happens um and then she got a bear is it gonna drop it she got a teddy bear. And guess what, guys? We're going to keep the teddy bear. I don't know. Let's see how much it's worth. I don't think it's... Yeah. It's worth 50 bucks. We're keeping the teddy bear. Let's move him down here so that I don't accidentally sell him. We do have some produce that we can go ahead and sell, so we'll do that. What's she doing? She's... Honey, you cannot play video games. You do not have $5. To, well, there it went. Um... We don't have $5 to be wasting on video games, dear. Has she already sat down to play? <laughs> yeah, she has. Let's see if there's anything else um, that we can do here. Okay. Abby's going to go ahead and throw a party at the beach. Is there a bonfire at the beach? Let's go look really quick. If there is, I think there is a bonfire at the beach. Here it is, Shell Beach. Bonfire, bonfire. Yes, no, there is a bonfire at the beach, and there's a shell down here, too, so that's fantastic. Okay, Abby's going to go ahead. Um, let's see. These never work for me, so I'm probably going to take that off and put the bonfire. Well, bonfire parties, there it is. Um, 
It's only worth three fifty. Let's kiss Brandon. <laughs> and then we'll throw a party really quick. Brandon must have been hungry because it looks like Brandon's eating. Um, so she's going to go ahead really quick and give Brandon a kiss. And then she's going to throw a bonfire party. He was eating a great quality burrito. And it doesn't look like there's much left of that burrito. So I think he's probably about finished. Um, that's what we're going to do. Come on, Ab Tab. Let's go. Marvis Drefmo. And kiss me, baby. And he's thinking about money too. <laughs> you know, I wonder if Brandon has is having money problems. Either that or maybe his family is rich and that's why he's thinking about money. I don't know. Or maybe he can sense that Abby is having money problems. You know, that's very possible. Um, it, it really is possible that, that he can sense that she's a little bit worried about her funds. So we're going to go ahead um, and, let's see, throw a party at. That's what we're going to do. Um, hold on a second, guys. Um uh, I have a little dog, and she is pawing my legs and whining. She doesn't need to go potty, but I need to see what she needs, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let Abby throw a bonfire party. Um, I wonder if I have to say what kind of party bonfire party. Um, you know what? Uh, it's been such a long time since I've done this. Um, well, go ahead and choose a destination. And I bet I have messed up because I bet I was supposed to say what kind of party it was prior to doing this. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and say um, Shell Beach. Oh, okay. This is going to cost two fifty. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, and the guest list is going to just be Okay, here we go. Now I remember. We're going to have a bonfire party. And it is now 7 o'clock, so we're going to have it at 8. And the dress code is going to be swimwear because it's at the beach. And we are going to invite... Um, we only have two friends? <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> we're going to have to remember who, her, who the people are that she goes to school with. Well, if she went to school, which she does not... So we're going to invite Kyle Barrows. We're going to invite, um, let's see if I can remember who the people are. Farmwood, Justin Farmwood. He was one of them, right? Um, and, of course, Brandon Hartford. Also, Tom Landville, he's a teen. Um, Corinne Millhouse is a teen, I think. Erica Orwell is a teen. Look, you can invite Grim Reaper to your parties. <laughs> I never really noticed that before. Uh, let's see who else. Vale Thompson is a teen. She's showed up in our list. Let's see. Um, Brent Wellington. Is that all? I think that's prob probably everybody. And we'll hope that uh, Pam Carnady, pa 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 pa, um, she's not one, is she? She's an adult. Okay. He's a teen, Derek Rockford. We'll hope that Pam Carnegie does not crash our party. And we'll just make sure that there are no more teens that we have missed. It would be terrible if Pam showed up. If she did show up, she'd probably slap Abby for some unknown. Well... You know, I know why she would slap her, but you just don't go around slapping people the way she does. 
I don't care, you know, how bad it is. The first slap, that was understandable. But, you know, after that, nope. Abby's not going to put up with it. I think that's everybody. Okay. Even if it's not everybody, it's enough. So there you go. The bonfire will start at 8 p.m. What's She wants to buy a claw machine. Honey, we cannot afford to buy a claw machine. Um, it looks like Brandon's going to go for a prize really quick. And... Abby Sherwood's bond party is starting soon. Bonfire party. Is starting soon. And... She's going to go ahead and go out to Shell Beach. Oh. Did Brandon get something? He got something. I can't tell what it is, oh. but he did get something, so that's nice. And he's changed into his swimwear. And happy hour has begun. Okay. So, Abby's going to go ahead and bike to the beach. And it looks like Brandon's going to run over her in a taxi. At least I think that's Brandon that <laughs> just ran over her. Or almost ran over her. Here come some other taxis. Wonder if they're coming to our party. And Abby's probably going to be the last one to arrive to her very own party. <clears throat> because she does have to bike to the party. Which is okay. The first guests have arrived. Okay. Well, we really don't have any food here, but there is a restaurant that they can get food from. I guess Abby could um, grill up some... Well, first of all, she needs to start the bonfire. So she's going to go ahead and light the bonfire and put a bunch of wood on the bonfire. And then we'll have... Oh, no. Is Kyle Barrows crying? Look at him. He is so heartbroken over losing Abby. Isn't that sad? You know, maybe he cared a lot more about Abby than Abby realized. But, you know what? It's too late now. Um, it's just too late. Because Abby is in love with Brandon now. She's going to go ahead and spend a little bit of money. And she's going to grill hot dogs for everyone. Um, somebody's already throwing test tubes on the bonfire, which is okay. But she wants everybody to have a good time, and she does have a little bit of money now, since she did win that prize from the claw machine. Um, and I wonder who that is calling. Isn't everyone that we know here? Uh, we'll just see who this is. We may not talk to them. Derek, you're supposed to be at the party, dear, so uh, I don't know what's up with that. She's just going to continue grilling. She's going to ignore this phone call. Maybe it's him calling saying he can't come. I don't know. Actually, let's just find out where Derek is. Is he here? No, he's not. But it looks like he's probably on his way. Maybe he's calling to say that he's going to be running a little bit late, which is fine. Please. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and we really need to get to know Korean Millhouse. You know, maybe she could be Abby's friend. And Phil Thompson we've talked to, and we have talked to er Erica Orwell before. Um, but we really need to talk to Corinne Milhouse and just see what she's all about. And Abby is hungry, and she's going to go ahead. Um, she's going to call everyone to meal. Huh, she can't call everyone to meal? Well, she's going to at least call Brandon to meal. And if everybody else wants to eat, they can eat. They don't have to. Um, what are you doing, dear? Well, I just have to see where she's going to go over there and eat. And I see, um, I don't think this message in a bottle is really worth much. But I did see a seashell over here earlier. After she eats, we're going to have her get the seashell. Because we need the money, honey. And look at them eating together. Aren't they so cute together? <laughs> and 
Abby's mm. thinking, man, mm. he would look really cute mm. in an astronaut suit. Mm. He really mm. would. <laughs> and she's feeling <laughs> so happy after their woohoo. You know, it was really mm. a good experience for her. Brandon made it a good mm. experience for mm. her. And it looks like Kyle is eating the hot dog, so that's good. I wonder if he's going to come and sit with us. And look, he is still so brokenhearted about Abby that he cannot even sit at the same table with Abby. Um, that's how broken up he is about it. And it's really hurting his feelings to see Abby with Brandon. But there's really nothing that Abby can do about it because Kyle had his chance. And if Kyle wanted to be with Abby, he should not have gotten drunk and, you know, tried to woohoo with Pam Carnegie. I mean, you just don't do that. Um, and with that said, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Runaway Teen Challenge. And I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are enjoying this series, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.